Hey y'all, welcome to the Pungo Prairie. Now my friend B, who's been helping me out a lot behind the scenes here lately, said if I really want to be serious about YouTube and video and then editing, I needed to get a new computer like this with a picture of a half-eaten apple on it. B, it's taken me 12 years to learn how to use this one. I don't think I'm going to live long enough to figure this one out. This is giving me a headache. I need something to eat. If y'all want to see how to make up a really good Caesar salad the Pungo Prairie Way, don't go nowhere because you don't want to miss this. Now one of my favorite things to eat is a really good fresh salad and among my top three salads are a good fresh homemade table sized Caesar. Now what you want to do is have a really good fresh crisp head of romaine lettuce. Now that don't come just by itself out of the package. You got to crisp this lettuce up and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now what we want is more the heart of the head of romaine lettuce. So I'm going to pull off some of these outer leaves and rinse and clean the heart of that head of lettuce. Just kind of give the lettuce a few shakes and set in that colander there for a minute or so and let the heavy water drain off of it. Now I'm going to take a romaine heart, roll it up in these two sheets of bounty paper towels. I'm going to give these paper towels a little bit of christening with some cold water on the outside. Now we're going to take our baptized lettuce wrap it up in that paper towel, put it in this plastic bag, roll it up, and we're going to put it in the refrigerator for at least a couple of hours before we make our salad. Now comes the fun part. We're going to make up our dressing. Now I'm going to get our garlic ready to season our bowl. Give it a few wax and it comes right on out of that husk. Now I'm just going to kind of coarse chop our garlic a little bit. Add it to the bowl. Now I'm going to take this fork and just kind of mash that chopped up garlic and spread it around inside this maple salad bowl. Get a lot of that good garlic juice clinging to the sides of that bowl. All right, we're just going to let it sit in that bowl for a few minutes. Now I'm going to scoop out about half of the garlic that we had in this bowl. Now I got this extra large brown egg, which I'm boiling up in this little pot of water for about a minute. Now I'm going to add the egg. I'm just going to whisk that egg around in that garlic. Some folks are squeamish about eating a raw egg, think they're going to get salmonella poison or something. But the truth is, the lemon juice, the fresh squeezed lemon juice we're going to put in here, is going to chemically cook that egg anyway. At least this way you can tell them you cooked the egg first. I'm going to dump in this little tin of anchovies, flat anchovies, that I have already drained the oil off of. I'm just going to kind of cut them up in there a little bit with this knife, and then mash them with this fork, and kind of make a paste out of them. A little paste with the egg and the anchovies. You might have to clean the fork off a little bit, cut them a little bit more, and mash them a little bit more. Get a nice little paste going on in there. Now I'm going to take a half a lemon, put it in this green bandana, and strain the juice. Keep the seeds out of there because you want an old bitter lemon seed in there. Guys, you can use a juicer, a little citrus squeezer, but if you're making this up table side for your lady friend, it's going to be a whole lot sexier if you do it in your bandana. Just make sure you don't use the one you blew your nose on. Cooking that egg now. All that good lemon juice. I'm going to put a little bit more of this garlic in there. You know, I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as too much garlic. We're going to take a little bit of this Dijon mustard and put about a half, three quarters of a teaspoon. A few little dashes of some Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of just a couple dashes of your favorite hot sauce. Now I'm going to add four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. One, two, three, four. Five tablespoons of some extra virgin olive oil. Two, three, four, five. We just call that in there good. Now I'm going to take some good Parmesan or Romano cheese and kind of grate a little bit of that up into the dressing. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. And our dressing is made. 
Now listen to me. The last thing you want is for your salad to be swimming in dressing. Now this is enough dressing to make up salad for at least two of those heads of romaine lettuce hearts that we've been crisping up. I'm only doing salad for one tonight, and you might want to think about doing the same if it's just you and your date. Be sure and stir and get all the good chunky stuff in the bottom. Label up about half of this dressing and save it till later. It'll keep in the refrigerator for a week or so. Now I've retrieved our nice crisp it up romaine lettuce from the refrigerator. I'm just going to lay it down here and cut it and some nice pieces to go in that salad bowl. Add it right on in the bowl. Take a pair of tongs and just give it a toss. Get it all down in the bottom of that bowl good. Flip it over. Get all of them lettuce leaves coated up good with that dressing you just made. Now a traditional Caesar salad calls for lettuce and croutons and the dressing. Maybe a little bit of cheese. But I like a surprise. And I bet your lady friend likes a surprise too. So make your Caesar salad just have its own personality like you. Make it just as colorful and as interesting as you are. Now here's a couple ways to do that. Right here I got some hearts of palm cut up and some artichoke hearts. We'll put that in there. Maybe cut up a few fresh oranges. Now I'm from Pungo, and Pungo's home at a world famous Pungo Strawberry Festival. So really jazz it up and give it some color, put a few strawberries in. And last but not least, remember them good old crunchy homemade croutons I showed you how to whip up? Put them in there. Finish it all off with a little bit more of fresh grated Parmesan and a little bit more fresh ground pepper. Now that, my friends, is a fresh made by the table side Caesar salad, the Pungo Prairie Way. Dear Lord, thank you for this awesome fresh made salad made from the bounty of all of your green goodness here on earth. Bless it now to nourish our bodies and strengthen us for a life in thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I don't mind telling you, I've been waiting on this all day. Oh, that's heaven. Now guys, listen to me. If you make up this for your lady friend, or even some chick you have over on the first date, you're going to be getting smiles and hugs and kisses. She's going to be bragging on you all over town. But don't forget the wine. And that, girls and boys, is what's cooking on the Hungo Prairie. Hey, P, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. You know, one time I shot a bear in the face with pepper spray when he came up my tree and stuck his nose between my feet. I ain't gonna let this thing whip me.